Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my uh of my builds. This will be the tier ten ice cream sandwich. This is a very, very popular build. Um it's known as its class, which is a thruster stick. Um it performs very well, very fast, very agile. Um all the blocks will be down in the description. Uh along with my Twitch channel where you can catch me at. Um, anyway, let's get right into this build. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to grab your two prisms. Just want to put them under here, like that arch. Then you want to go one, two, three, four, five forward, and six backward. Okay, so these white, um, these white tetras, you might be wondering... Why are they there? Just use for reference. Um, I'm referencing them to my thruster for tier 10. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your um, inners. You're going to want to go one out on each side. Then you're going to want to take your prisms and face them up. So it should look like this. With that prism facing up. All right. That is where your um, electroplates are going to be. So then, what we're going to do next is we're going to come out here. We're going to go one, two, three out. Three out on each side. And we're also going to do that on the back. One, two, three. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a just a reference block, so a white block or something. Take your prism, you go out like this. So one, two, three, four, and five. So that's one gun mount. You're gonna do the same on the back, but this time, no, no, yes, you are gonna do the same on the back. Take one brick out like that, and you're gonna wanna take this. You're gonna wanna take another reference block. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna put it like this. Then we're gonna take our tetras and we're gonna play, plop one down just right there. All right. So after you do that, you can continue with your going down. So one, two, three, four, five, and it's aligned with that one. We'll work on the third gun mount later once we have all the parts in and ready. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to take go to your movement. You want to take your tier 8s. These will be for your up and down movement. Place two right there and two right there. So the middle two are going to be up, down two are going to be outside. You can make them either way, I just like them that way. Next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put two tier 8s right there for turning. Now once you do that, you have all your tier 8s out the way. They're gone, they're finished. Now, you're going to want to take your tier 10, and you're going to want to place it 1, 2, 3, so on the third block away from the pilot seat. And same with this one, except it's the fourth block away from the pilot seat. Um, next on our list is, actually, no, no, we're going to continue with the thruster placement. From this thruster, you just move one up, and you just place the thrusters there. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the back movement placements. You can use tier 8s and you can delete those blocks and put them in, but I like to keep mine tier 10, so I'll put them like that because it'll interfere with that if I don't. So then what you can do is you can take your hardware. I use the same mega plate. You're going to need a mega plate BR, but what I do is I just use the left one only. Because if I feel like it gives me more protection, and it looks cooler in my opinion. Um, so then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take another reference block. You're going to want to place it where that prism was. Then you want to go take this mega shield and place it like that. Take away this reference block and take another prism. And go like that. And 
and I didn't have mirror mode on, so we'll just put another reference block. Take the mega plate, put that there, take out the reference block, and then point it up. And it's the wrong way. I am really, I apologize greatly. If only I knew how to cut my video out. If you, again, if you guys have any um, tips to give me about YouTube, and I'm new to this, so help me out if you can in the chat. Okay, so after this, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take it. You want to take another tetra. Want to place it right there, facing that way. All right. So once you have that done, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take another tetra and place it like that. So that way you can go one, two, three, four, five. You can go five out and that block is just a reference block. So you go one, two, three, take that block out and you put two in here. These black blocks are just for weight placements. So they're not that important. So we're gonna work on the third gun mount now, now that we have all our things placed. You're gonna wanna put the Tetra facing out like this. This is gonna help you because it'll face your prism down and it'll be even with the rest of them. Two, three, four, and then five. So there you have your five gun mounts. From right here, you're gonna wanna make it take another tier 10 thruster you're going to want to make it even with the other one. So you can use these as reference. So it was one, two, three. It was the third block from there. And then it's the fourth block from here. So let me get in here. One, two, three, four, and then place. Now, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take your last prism. You want to turn it. Take your tier four rudder. Place it upwards. I'm a big fan of placing it upwards because I just don't like the way it looks like that. Um, then, what you're going to want to do is, the last part of this is take your tier 10 SMGs, your 6 SMGs, and place them down like this. And that is how you build the um, sandwich. Um, if you want to just replace these black blocks for like no weight distribution, if you want it to be faster, you can. And what you can do is you can actually probably add a couple thrusters inside to help out its maneuvering. And you can also probably add, you can add a T10 in here too if you want to turn really fast. But it's a little hard to maneuver even with a rudder. So I'll show you out in practice and, tell, um, and show you guys how, it's, how it performs in battle. So it's very nimble and very hard to control without a rudder. So you see how slow mine is? It's because I have those black blocks, but I like it that way. So you can just hover over your enemies and cradle them in your arms and as you slowly diminish their armor. Anyway, guys, that was my build of the Tier 10 Ice Cream Sandwich. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I would love to see more of them out in the battlefield. This is Sparkle signing out.